We're here today at Todd Cemental Farm with family and friends and we're here to see how it's done because it's that time of the year, the calves need to be vaccinated, some need to be castrated, uh, so all the winter babies are going through that and it's for their better good and let's see how it works. Let's ask some questions and see where the day takes us. <laughs> Open the blue gate, then let her up in the run with the cows. We're tattooing, clipping. Um, the clipping is just for the big calves that we're keeping that have, uh, that are a little bit older and their winter hair is dead. So we're clipping it off instead of letting it shed because it takes longer. Every calf is getting uh, a two CC vaccination for black leg. Uh, so that's what the Covexin shot is. It's their first vaccination and they'll get another one in the fall when we uh, wean them off the cows. And obviously the bull calves that we don't plan on keeping for reproduction are getting their elastics to make them steers. Castration day for them one. Every calf gets processed today because every single one needs at uh, a minimum their vaccination shot. And then the better calves get more. They get the clipping, the tattooing, the all that stuff. I don't want to see it fall apart. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's like any long-term establishment. It's taken generations to build a good herd and it's just a pleasure and kind of pride to keep it going. Yeah, a legacy. A legacy. Uh, awesome. Yeah. I, I, did it, I did it with my father and now I'm doing it with my daughter. It's pretty much a passion and and it's a challenge because what you think about today and how you're going to correct a cow to make her better, you don't see the results for three to four years. So it's kind of fun to, to look at old pictures and say, yeah, we're really going forward here. People who aren't in it for a long time don't understand that if you don't breed your cows correctly today, you aren't going to see the results for three or four years. So yeah. you really think about it long term? Oh, you have to in this business. Every, every successful breeder, there's no way you can tell me that he just woke up and decided. Like He's been thinking and planning his strategies, and, uh, and that's what a good, a good breeder is, is he's thinking not just next year's calf crop, he's thinking three, four, and five years down the road. Yeah, we've, we've exported semen as far as Australia, Wow! but uh, as far as cattle go, uh, we've pretty much just stuck to Canada. I have, I have bought a cow in the U.S. Uh, it's just a little more difficult to bring them in. Uh, we do have a small meat market, but, but it's genetics. Yeah. It's genetics. We have our fall sale now, and, and there's 60 lots. And we're putting ourselves probably 22 to 25 out of the 60. And then we get guest consigners and uh, it, it's a fun deal. Yeah. yeah. Ollie, what's your job today? Pushing cows, pushing cows. I'm gonna shoot so we can get the care they need. Oh, 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 oh,
Born in the barn, basically. <laughs> I was uh, in diapers and my dad forgot me in the barn because I was sleeping on a bale of hay. <laughs> I'm Alexis, uh, Kirk's daughter. Co owner with my dad. I do all the paperwork, all the administration part, and all the night calving. <laughs> and hopefully, keep going. <laughs> with your next generation. Hopefully. <laughs> your favorite thing to do about the farm? The social part of it. The fairs and stuff? Yeah, it's like a whole different family. It's not gonna work with a beer in your hand, buddy. We're gonna start with the big timer. Okay, flip his head. He's keeping it, huh? Oh, he so what that does is it pokes holes in the ear and then I, this is ink and we just roll it into the hole and that's a permanent tattoo for, for life. Why do you shame them? It makes them look better and like the ones we did their whole body, their hair will grow back nicer and for the black ones, see how some of them have like a brown kind of... Yeah? It'll come back black. Oh, like, yeah. okay. Fine yard. Where do you get a piece of their tail? For DNA testing, to make sure they're cold, to make sure their parentage is right. Why does he keep his nuts? His mother and father are good animals, a good pedigree. He's a, he's a little bit young. Usually we only keep the nuts on the, the older, bigger calves, but he's pretty good, so we'll give him a chance. From a pedigree standpoint, he's worth being a breeding bull. All done. Hey, how's that grab you? Yes. Hey, grab me right by the nut. <laughs>